been getting a ton of questions about Vlog Easy, the newest app for vloggers and people who want to save time from having to sit down at their computer and edit and edit on the go. You see Vlog Easy right here. And if you just first downloaded Vlog Easy, you need to make sure that you give it access to your microphone, your photos, your camera. There's several things that you're gonna have to do. When you open the app, go to new vlog. This is how you get to the vertical, the horizontal, or the square. If you are going to be doing it for IGTV or Insta Story, you probably wanna focus on vertical. If you're gonna do it for YouTube, you probably wanna focus on horizontal. It just depends on what platform you are vlogging or preparing strategic content for. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you two specific ways that we have been using Vlog Easy and how it has helped me elevate my business, connect with my audience, and the most important thing is how to save a ton of time. A ton of time. I cannot even explain to you how exciting it is. Jump cut or normal? And these are the exact two things that I want to talk about today. We use jump cut, which means it cuts out all the quiet time, which during that quiet time, guess what I'm doing? I'm like looking at my notes to see what exactly I need to say so I can stay on track. Again, for jump cut, we use this for planned strategic content. I typically do videos once a month and we call it batching. So you batch all of your videos and batch all of your content. And normal is just normal video. So if I'm gonna do a vlog throughout the day, I make sure that it's on normal. And then throughout the day, I video little snippets of what we're doing. I'm going to be specifically talking about the jump cut feature on Vlog Easy and show you how to work it. You wanna make sure that you're on jump cut. Specifically for jump cut, why I love this feature is I don't have to remember what to say. I don't have to use a teleprompter. It simply edits out all the moments that I'm quiet. You have to be in a quiet space for it to work. There are some new technologies coming out where that may change, but for now you want to be in a quiet place. You can actually concentrate and really connect with your audience. I'm going to show you how this is going to work. Are you ready? Now, one little tip is if you're going to have like a notebook or have a note on my computer, if you're going to be looking away from the camera, you want to be sure you count to three when I'm done talking and before I look down and then count to three when I look up so my eyes aren't doing this the whole time. And I'll show you what I mean. You can also insert a little bit of your personality and your attitude you just to be fun. I'll show you what I mean. Ready? So again, I've got it on jump cut. Okay. I'm going to make sure that I turn it around. So now it is seeing me. I hit record. This is Angela. <laughs> this doesn't really work when your dog barks. My three favorite things that I'm going to talk to you about today. One, two, three. My dogs think that I'm gonna throw a toy right now. You ready to see the magic happen? Watch this. The magic, the magic is happening. You cannot really multitask while you are doing this. If you hit play right here, so here's my timeline right here. So it's really important to know this is your timeline and you're gonna see little snippets here where it edited out the quiet parts. Let me show you what this did. This is Angela. This doesn't really work when your dog barks. My three favorite things that I'm going to talk to you about today. One, two, three. My 
my dogs think that I'm going to throw a toy right now. Are you ready to see the magic happen? I want to get rid of that last clip, so watch how easy this is. I'm simply going to swipe up, delete. It's that easy. If I wanted to shorten a clip, just tap quickly. And then you see here, you can make it shorter or longer. And it's as easy as that. Now I'm going to talk more about the normal mode. So in normal, this is what I use for vlogging on the go. So for example, I'll say, I'll go to normal and say, I'm headed to such and such meeting. And then at the meeting, I'll say, this is what we're doing. And then I'll just keep hitting start, stop, start, stop throughout the entire day. I have learned that best practices is about eight minutes is a good number to try not to go over. Now I am ready to export this. So what you're going to do, and if you're wondering what all these little buttons up here do, don't worry about that right now. We'll talk about the little features. This is just the basics, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're going to export it and you're going to want to name it. I like to name my stuff. So I'm gonna call this test. And you see the test comes up right there. I'm gonna hit done. You can pick a cover frame down here. So if you wanna change it, you can do that, hit done. And then it's here. Now, for the best resolution, it kind of takes too long in my opinion, um, especially if I'm in a hurry. So you can change the resolution. And if I am doing things vertically, just to make it quick, quicker, I choose the 720. This is the important feature, auto slice. Auto slice is really, really important and sort of my very favorite features about Vlog Easy because it can cut it up for your Insta story and gives you those 15 second increments. So for example, you will see here that you can turn it off. You can do 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 45 seconds, and 60 second increments. So I go ahead and choose 15. But before I do that, if this is something that I am going to post on IGTV or Facebook and it's going to stay, I first export it with auto slice off and hit next. Now, it's exporting. A couple of best practices while this is exporting. Number one, you want to make sure that you're not multitasking while this is going on. And I have learned that it works best when it's plugged in if it's not charged. And also try not to run a bunch of apps because that's gonna slow it down too. And by the way, you've got to have space on your phone or your iPad to do these. I always, always, always save it to my library first. Again, if I'm batching my content, I don't wanna share it on social right now. So I always save it here. The other thing is that you wanna own your own content, which is a completely different video. Save to library, hit okay. Now, if you want to text it to someone, you know, you can do all of this, but when I'm batching videos, I just want to get through them, and um, I'm not worried about sharing them right now. You want to hit done. Now, the next step, if you want it to slice it up in 15-second increments so that you can share on your story, you're going to go back up here to export. I'm going to change the resolution to 720. I'm going to go to auto slice, 15 seconds, and then I'm going to hit next. Now, it's exporting, then it's going to slice it up, and then we will go to my photos, and I will show you guys how I batch content and how I keep up with it. You've got to pay attention to the length of the videos. You notice it says cutting now, so I'm going to hit save. Okay, it's to my library and done. Best practices is that I've done a video for 12 minutes and it took a long time to export. Be cautious of getting too much in here. Now, I'm going to clear my timeline because I'm done. I'm done 
with this video. So I'm just going to go to the end and I'm going to hit clear timeline. Let's talk about all the fun features before I clear my timeline. Before I hit clear my timeline, and you'll notice down here at the bottom, it has how long it is. So this was like 15 seconds. You can go up here and you can write on it. Love. Hit done. You can type text on it. Hi. And there are different fonts that you can choose here. Then you've got folder. In your folder, which let me show you this again, the folder up here, this goes to your current videos and photos. So if you want to add in a past photo, so you'll notice down here at the bottom, it's on my camera roll. And so you can go to all. And so if I want to go back and add a video, I just hit the plus. I'm going to add to timeline. And then you see it made it longer. It added to my timeline here. Now it's going to take a moment to import. So let it do its thing. The other cool feature is called yarning. This is yarn down here. Vlog Easy has partnered with a company where you can add movie clips to be funny, show your personality, try to get a point across. You can see where this, you can see where this out of the video right here. The other thing to notice is that the text and where I wrote is only in the sections that you see the white line. See where it says the number two? So just know that if you want something to be in the very beginning, like a welcome or what the video is going to be about, make sure that it is on the section that you want it on before you type or write something. You can shake it. And it's going to ask you if you want to clear your timeline. Everything in your timeline will be deleted, so I want to delete it. Confirm, delete. This is the part where people really get hung up. I'm going to show you how you can add it to your story or to Instagram. And I'm going to show you from my phone first. I want to go to photos and point out a few things. I just exported a vlog from today. So you can tell where it starts because of all the little 15 second increments on here. Instagram, if you have this feature, will let you do 10 at a time. So I'm just going to share with you how I do it. I don't know if there's a better way to do it. I'm going to go to Instagram. And now this is specifically for my story. So I'm going to go to the top hold my finger down, hit add story. Then I'm going to go over here, down here to where the pictures are. Now this is really important. You don't want to start at the top. You want to scroll down to where your fit first video started. And this is why I use headers. So I put happy Friday and then you want to Click this little button up here. That little button up there is going to allow you to choose 10 clips at a time. I will tell you that I have had one person that I'm coaching and she doesn't have this button up there. I have no clue. We're still researching that. But you want to start here and go each clip and, and go to 10. So one, two, three, four. And Instagram has, like, you see the 10th clip right there, right? So then I'm going to hit next. And then this is the fun part. You can swipe right and do a filter. Now, again, this is just the way that I do it. So I go to each clip and put the filter on that I want to use. You can also just tap to the right to get to the next clip like that. So you can pick the filter. Then I'll go back and, and again, this is just me, but I have a note on my phone in notes where I keep hashtags. So I'm going to go to the top here. I'm going to swipe down. You see at the top where it says search. 
So I'm going to type in the word hashtag. Usually it's right there at the top. So you'll see here how we have hashtags pretty much for every type of group, depending on my audience and who I'm posting to. And so these are key hashtags that I use a lot. So I just simply copy and paste. So for example, for this post today, I'm mainly focusing on content strategy, building my audience, connecting my name, creativepreneur, share your story, collaboration, entrepreneur consulting. You can do up to 10 hashtags. So I'm going to copy that little area and then I'm going to double tap or swipe whichever phone you've got and I'm going to go and hit paste. Now if you want to make them small you can hit return make them smaller and then you can move them into the corner or you can pinch make them bigger smaller I make them small. I might do the location. I might mention someone, do a hashtag. You can poll your audience, which is really cool. You can ask questions. You can do a countdown. So I'm going to say, Bri, yay, on this one and pinch it, move it around. And then I'm going to go to my next clip. And again, you can hit this to go to your next clip. Now let's pretend like I'm done and then I'm going to hit next and then I'm going to share it on my story. Now this video that I exported was more than 10 so I'm going to go back and do the same thing again. So I'm going to hit this button. I'm going to go down here and find and count up from 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I stopped here. So I'm going to go to the next ten, which again, Instagram will count it for you. So that's ten. And then I'm remembering that I'm leaving off with Deborah. I'm going to go next and same thing. I'm going to do the filter on each, which again, this is not a necessity. I'm going to go back to my notes. I'm going to copy my hashtags. I'm going to go back and paste them on each clip, make them smaller, get them out of the way, and then go up here and either, again, you can do location, you can do mention, hashtag. There's all kinds of fun things that you can do. So, like, I'll type in uh, in the search teaching. And then like there's cute, funny little things. So I may choose something, move it over. That's how you do that. So then again, I would hit next. Now, if it does that, you want to be on the last clip and it's touchy sometimes. So just hold down to next and then share on your story. Something else that I want to mention too is that you can link up here that link to an IGTV video, which we often do, or you can also write on this just like you can on Blog Easy, or you can type stuff out. So I love this because you can do a CTA, a call to action, before putting it on your story. Now, to conserve storage, I go back to my photos, okay? Back to my photos, and I hit select, and I delete all of this stuff. And I try to potty train my brain to do it every single day so that I don't have to worry about space filling up on my phone. Thank you so much for joining me and for trying out Vlog Easy. If you have any questions, any challenges, any like what ifs or what the heck, please, please, please reach out. Type your questions and comments below. I'm here to help. 
I want this to be a success for you and your business. You have a message. And someone said to me the other day, I love how you just make your mess your message. And no one's perfect, but I know that we love helping people. And that is the reason that I do these videos. I do it for you. So thanks so much for watching. Bye.